Hey there and welcome to the Weeb Lounge. Once again, I am Nick and this is a basic information and navigation guide for a new gacha game, one that's really catching on and that's Blue Archive. And I'm really enjoying this game and I'm hoping you'll enjoy it too. All right, let's get right into it. Basic navigation, what things are, what things do. I'm gonna start at the top left, work my way over. At the top left, you got your username, your level, and the amount of EXP you have to gain another level. A level is very important because your max level also dictates the max level of your character. So the part further that you level up, the higher level your characters are gonna get, more powerful you are, blah, blah, blah. Next one right here with the little green lightning bolt, that's your AP, your stamina, whatever you want to call it, your action points. On the left is how much you have, on the right is the max you can uh, carry or generate. And the higher level you are, the one on the right goes higher, and it is possible to go over because you get like little special things in the game left and right. I mean, I've gotten a ton, so that's why I'm like way, way over. Next one with the C, that's kind of just like a basic credit. That's a generic currency that you need to do just about a little bit of everything and everything. Leveling up characters, crafting stuff, you, you name it. Generally, is going to use a little bit of currency here. Now, this one here is the premium currency. All right. Now, I went a little crazy and I I, I am spending money on this. I'm, you know, I did it. I went and done it. Uh, it takes 1,200 for a 10 pool. And... I've got a lot of 10 pulls here. <laughs> I'll get to the gotcha in a little bit more detail later, but that is your premium currency. This guy right here, this little button, all this is does is change out your character. So let's say, you know, I got the shotgun lolly up there. Let's see, we're, we're, we're Burger Girl. We got to get Burger Girl in here. Where's she at? Do, 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 Burger Girl, Burger Girl. Wow, she's really hiding on me, isn't she? There she is. There's Burger Girl. All right, we put her in. There's Burger Girl. Yes, there's a girl that eats burgers as a buff during a fight, but that's a different story. All right, let's keep moving on. Little envelope. What this is is just like little not notifications, information, whatever, but it also, you know, it's where you kind of get free stuff, okay? Every once in a while they do a little event or you meet so many Twitter followers or goals or this, that, and the other. Things will show up in here and you'll get stuff for free. The second option down here is the ones that you already picked up. Now, if you see... I think this is like a uh, app store purchase or something like that. Like 1,200 jewels or something. or No, that's like favorability or something. Eh, whatever. A lot of stamina, a lot of jewels, a whole bunch of stuff in there. I already collected it all. If there's anything new, it'll show up there. All right, back to the home page. The very top right, this is kind of like a main menu. You know, this, this is kind of important, all right? Top left option here, that's your options. The top one is general game options. I'll let, leave it to you guys to translate these. They're not terribly important. Game options, the second one's graphics. And this one, all the way on the left, that's max graphics. All the way on the right, crap graphics. Frames per second, 60 or 30. And down here, you got anti-lazing at the bottom. I always have that on. So if you don't, I think it starts out at high at 30 frames a second. It might depend on your device, but that's what that does. This one's audio, fourth one down is notifications, and these I probably should turn off. There we go, because I hate notifications, they get annoying. The one on the right is account. Now, this is kind of how you bind your account, and Yo, you can make a Yostar account. I got mine to the Twitter page. We're good there. All these down here, I'm not even going to go real, those are different options, but a little thing, if you guys want to play this game and you're one of those guys that want to do a lot of re-rolls, and this is the first game I did a lot of re-rolls. I re-rolled for three hours on this. The Twitter method is the easiest one. Basically, you log in as a guest, you do go through the motions, do your first few pulls. If you don't get nothing, you link it to your Twitter, then immediately unlink it from your Twitter, close the game, restart again as a guest, rinse, repeat. That's how you do, do that. And you can actually do it on multiple things. When I was re-rolling, I had it on BlueStacks and my tablet going at the same time. And whenever you get one that uh, you want to end up keeping, boom, you lock it to Twitter, you're good, don't have to worry about it no more. The ones on the bottom, bottom left, and bottom right is kind of just your items. The one on the bottom left is gear. Like, basically, equipment that your characters can uh, equip. Yeah. Kind of simple. The items are just other generic items. It could be leveling up material, skill level up material, the little goddess fragments here to star level up your characters. List of a whole bunch of different things. And that's your main menu. Now, this little arrow here, all that does... 
draws it out so you can see just how many burgers old girl here has had. He's had a lot of burgers. Every time I do a battle, she goes through five or six burgers. I hope they're healthy. I really do. They don't look it. All right. Back over to the left over in this area here. The little bullhorn, that's just announcements. You go there, get some general info. Mission, you'll be going here quite a lot because you got your day, you got your dailies, you got your weeklies, you have specials, you got challenges, you got a whole bunch of different stuff. And you'll be, when you first start this game, you'll be collecting these like mad. It'll be stupid. So many things to get. So keep an eye on that. This Momo Talk is like a mock cell phone chat kind of thing when you bond level up characters. So basically, you know, you'll end up having a conversation with them, like, you know, almost like a test message and a little options will come down here to how to reply and stuff. But, you know, it, it kind of sounds like a visual novel character building thing, which it is more or less. But you want to make sure you do these because you can get free jewels, rank up and a whole bunch and a bunch of other goodies. You want to make sure you do them. All right, let's fly all the way back over here to the right to this little uh, side mission thing here. Now, I'm guessing when there are different little side missions, events, and stuff, it's probably going to be in that same area. Right now, when you log in, you basically got seven days worth of a whole bunch of stuff to do, and you end up getting, like, free characters, free goddess fragments, jewels, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. So let me give you this little bit of advice. If you install the game and you start playing... Have some time left over to really, really push this game and push fast because you only got seven days to really go as far as you can. And if you don't, what you don't get done in the first day, you can't go back and do. So you have to do the second day, but keep on going. So if you decide to play, get ready to go. All right, <laughs> it's got got you stuff to do. All right, and on to some a little bit more important stuff, and that's on the bottom, very bottom left. You have a cup, the cafe. Now, keep in mind, some of these won't be unlocked until you level up a little bit or advance into the story a little bit more, so they won't all be available right away. You see a little lock icon? No big deal. Uh, this is just almost like a guild house, or you know, you see this in other gacha games where you can kind of place your own furniture around, and you have girls walking around. And you can buy level them up. I'm not going to go into too much of this. But over here at the bottom right, you can click that, and over time it'll generate money and stamina, AP for you, all right? And it seems right now to take a long time to generate, and that might be due to the level of the cafe. You, you do level it up. See, I need two of whatever that is, 220 there. I want to rank up, but I don't have this thing. And you only get that during the story, I think. You have to really push. So, yeah. Because, <laughs> like, right now, it's, like, two to three. It's, it's a stuff, all right? You can level it up, you get stuff faster, and it's good. All right, let's back out of there. Second one, one down here where my mouse is all going nutty. Oh, this is the schedule, okay? Why they call it schedule, I don't quite get. I really don't get. And this is the first gacha game I've come across this little mechanic. There are other gotchas with similar mechanics, or so I've been told. But basically, they're different locations, and you click one, and you have all these characters floating around, right? These areas are unlocked, and if I actually had some tickets here, you can say, click a certain area or a character, it'll bring it up, you can use a ticket, and it'll give you like a fragment, some bond rate, other items, stuff like that, to kind of help the characters that are in that little area i don't have any tickets right now so i can't do it but you do over time level these areas up which will unlock more stuff so basically three times a day you come in here you click something you keep clicking them rank them up you're good so it, 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 it looks complicated but it's not it's it's real simple stuff all right now we're over to the character list strengthening character list now this is going to give you a list of all your characters, but we'll also, if you click the character, it takes you to this screen. This screen you're going to come at a lot on every single character. Top left one is kind of just like a basic overview of the character. You got your hit point, strength, what equipment they got. She's got a shotgun. This is our shot with our lazy yawning shotgun lolly. I do like this character. She goofy and she takes naps. I take naps. So that's your basic overview at the bottom right here. You click that you have different equipment and you can equip equipment obviously and also level up that equipment you level up the equipment and eventually you can kind of go to like the tier two and the tier three it's you know shoes to better shoes to better shoes to moccasins or something 
slippers, Crocs. I don't know. It's going to be one of those things. The weapon there, I there's nothing in it now that I am aware of, but that's just like the kind of weapon she uses, right? There might at some point come a thing where I can give her a better shotgun. If that's in the game, I haven't experienced it yet, but keep that in mind. Right above, oh, I click the thing. Oh, I went to the busty mouse lolly. Yeah, they got a whole bunch of those in here, apparently. Okay. On this side, same screen, same thing. These are the skills, these four little guys here. If you click this, it brings you to the level up uh, menu for the skills. Now, if you have the materials, you can go through here, level them up. Gives you your cost, what you need. Pretty straightforward there. Now, up here, of course, you obviously have three tabs. The middle one is just leveling up. Now, I've already got her at max level because level 18, that's all I can do. But... You basically have your, your weak, your medium, your strong, and your super reports to really, really level up your characters. That's all that does. The third tab, that's if you have enough of these fragments, and you can upgrade their star level. You get more strength, hit points, typical stuff. You increase the star level, you get more of, like, everything, and that's really, really good. All right, let's go back. Now, this is all the characters. You can set it to just strikers or special. Now, a striker is a character that's on the field fighting for you. OK, a special is a character who is kind of in the background. They're not on the field, but they do have their abilities. They can kind of throw at you. So in a way, think of it this way. Striker is a fighter. Special is support. You can think of it that way if you want. Now, the next one, the little tablet looking thing there that I really, really clicked too quick. So let's go back right here. That's combat formation. And you're going to have four strike strikers that are going to be on the field fighting. And at the bottom here, you have your support. And you pull any four strikers, any two special support, whatever you want to call it, to form your groups. Now, there's different ways to form your groups. Uh, di different characters perform better in different environments. And I'll put a little gra graphic up for that. Some envi One environment, you see, you got outdoors. You have urban environment and you have indoors and they'll be indicated by a little icon and the care each character will have that little icon by it. as you can see right here oh our old burger girl in an urban environment is really happy indoors she's okay and she doesn't like to be outdoors she'd rather be indoors eating a burger or in an urban environment close to a mickey d's it's it's something like whatever it's burger girl and you can create four different groups whatever it is that you want to make all right let's go back Next one right here, circle. Right there by her circle. Uh, <laughs> that was really bad. Okay, we have the Weave Lounge. This is, this is your clan. This is your guild. And we already have 30 people in here. We're doing pretty good. And other people have had some good luck, I guess. Yep, and I put the woot. YouTube.com slash the Weave Lounge. That's where you're at right now watching the video, right? So basically, you got your chat and you got your member list. That's what you got. And that doesn't open up until you hit chapter three and you get you get past chapter three, story four. Once that you get past that, you can go in here, you can make your own, or you can join somebody else. Whichever one you want to do. Alright, down here by this tablet that looks a little shattered at the bottom there. This is crafting. And I am really not gonna go into this because I don't know much of nothing about crafting yet. I I got a little picture that shows a table and everything. I'm not going into it or whatever. Ba basically, you come in here. If you got the parts, you throw it at it, and it makes something. All right. You guys are going to need to research that a little bit more, or I'll make another video later on down the road giving it a little bit better explanation once I actually get some materials. But you're not going to have to worry about that too much just early on. The little icon down here with the 24, that's your shop, if that wasn't obvious. Four different shops, a whole bunch of different stuff. You can buy tickets using a premium currency, which I hopefully will never do. You get other leveling up materials, other just whatever. These are your got little goddess fragments to upgrade that star level. And these guys you get in the gotcha, which I'll go over in just a moment. Premium currency, there's like arena and kind of raid slash clan battle slash uh, war that will give you different tokens for different things. And a lot of it's good stuff. All right, the gotcha. Oh, the gotcha is 2.5% for a three star. Three star being the best. It's one, two, and three star. And three stars you can get all, well, I think you can get any character up to five stars if you have enough fragments. So you're able to do that as well. Uh, 
2.5% for that three star, that's pretty typical. That's the same as Princess Connect standard gotcha. It's, it's, it's really average. And a 10 pull over here is 1,200. And believe me, never do the single pull. Always do the 10 pull. Because I think in the 10 pull, you at least are guaranteed a two star. And it's better than getting nothing if you have luck like I have. The one on the left, now this is just at the very beginning of the game. Uh, this goes until like February 11th here. That's a pickup gotcha. Second one, that's more or less general. Oh, if you happen to get doubles, you get those little stones I was talking about. Doubles generate stones. The stones you can turn in for leveling up material. If you play Princess Connect, it's the same thing with the little memory fragments. You roll the gotchas, you get doubles. You get the amulets, you turn the amulets in for the memory fragments. Same thing here, only it's like goddess stones and something else. Whatever. Okay, I've been going around for a little bit here. Let's put it on her. At the very, very bottom right, this big old folder right here. This is where you're going to be spending a lot of time. This is where all the combat and the good stuff happens. All right. And she's sitting there sleeping. Let's wake her up. Wake up. Come on. There we go. She's wide awake now. Now. Over at the very right over here, the, this big one on the right, those are stories. Now, as you progress through everything or get characters, bond rating, whatever the case may be, different stories will open up in here. It's your type of visual, visual novel stuff. And make sure, even if you don't know Japanese, if you can't read, understand it, whatever, make sure you go in here and do these anyways and at least go hit the skip button because you, of course, get premium currency by doing them. It's not all that much, but it does add up over time. Now, bottom left here, this guy, this is like basically special request, which uh, basically you come in here, you can do these as many times as you want, and it's for regular level up material and coins, your generic currency. You can get either one of those. That's all that is. And the one while I'm above it, which is warrants, this one, you go in here, you get a couple, uh, you get some tickets, you can do so many a day and such. Yes, and you get special material that are for skill level ups or other material. Basically, both of those two that I just mentioned are to get your characters more powerful. Random materials for whatever it is that you need. Oh boy. The very bottom right, the one that I still have the lock icon on there, is the arena. And the arena is fully automated. You make a team, it goes against some other team, it's automated. And right now... I have to get past 6-1 in order to unlock it, and I'm a little ways away. I just got a chapter 4. You get this here, you gotta get the chapter 6. But I'm still a little ways away from that arena. This one here is like a raid slash clan battle big war type deal, okay? Where war is a different type of currency, there's ratings and all this stuff, so... But that's not open yet. It's not open until February 13th, and I'm really, really anticipating this. But at the same time, I'm trying to level up and get as many characters as I can, so when this does happen, I can go, ooh, look what I can do. And it, yeah, <laughs> so we'll get there. The big one, main one right here that I saved till last, that is your general combat, your storyline, blah, blah, blah. That's where you're going to go fighting. All right. And I'm going to go eh, right here just for the heck of it. You got your normal modes, you got your hard modes, all right? Hard modes you can do three times a day has a chance to drop those little goddess fragments or whatever the heck they're called. I think they're goddess fragments. I'm pretty sure I translated that right, but I might have been saying that like a gazillion times a day and I ain't got a clue what I'm talking about, but they're fragments, memory fragments, whatever you want to call them. Three times a day, you get some other stuff there too. The, ooh, I'm running out of breath. I'm talking pretty quick, ain't I? All right, normal. <laughs> this is where you can get your battle, all right? Click that. And the great thing I love about this game, I love this. A lot of games have the skip ticket system, right? Where you get some tickets and you can just, you know, boop, skip and done. Okay. A lot of games have that. This game has it, but you don't need the skip ticket. You don't need the actual ticket. You can just skip. You just click this and do it as many times as you want. There's no limit. The only limit is your stamina. That's it. There's no skip tickets. No, there's nothing. I love this. I love this. I love this because it... I hate running out of skip tickets and then having to sit here and be like, oh, drudge through the damn thing. You'll never have to drudge through anything here as long as you got the stamina. I love it. But you have to three star it before you, that little option opens up. So if it doesn't open up, you have to go do the actual battle. And we'll go ahead and go in here and do one. All right. Now, this is just kind of like a stupid little hex board board game type deal. Okay. 
you have different rewards over here because you want to three star everything. You want to three star each of these fights. There's going to be three fights. And let's say you want to start. Okay, I want to start and I got Burger Girl, some other stuff and some other stuff. Yeah, okay, we're, we're going to take Burger Girl out and we need a tank. All right, Burger Girl gone, tank in. Yuka, everybody gets Yuka. Yuka is an awesome tank. She's considered an S tier character. Everybody gets her for free. Treat her nicely. There. We'll just, we'll just go ahead and do that. And I want to make her the leader. So you can click the L over here, make her the leader. I don't know if that gives any kind of actual buff or anything, but I she should be the leader. She's the tank. She's up front. Now, I'm not gonna go into like some huge dynamics with this this you know, you have Different characters have different weaknesses to different things. You know, I'll, I'll put a little graphic up in the corner there for like a short bit. That kind of explains it a, a little bit for you guys, but it's something else that you guys can look into and such. It, you have your environment and you also have the damage type or target type. And th those are kind of your, basically your elements. All right. That's pretty much what they are. It's not terribly complicated. Of course, I glossed over it early on and I got whooped a couple times because I was dumb, but that's beside the point. And combat is just fun. Okay, I can leave it on auto. Oh, she's putting up her shield. And they all take cover behind stuff. You have tanks, people that stand up front. You have mid-ground uh, fighters who usually have like ARs or SMGs. And then you have people who stand in the back that are generally like snipers and stuff like that. Different characters do different things and there's a lot of different strategy that you can actually go along with this. Now let's see. Oh, she, she, okay, do, do your thing real quick. I gotta take it off auto. She's artillery. And she utterly destroyed that thing. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to do, to do anything. I was gonna do a few things manually to show you, but no, nah, can't do it. Nope. Just beat the crap out of it. It's fine. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. And essentially, you just walk around here the enemy gets a turn so this one's probably going to walk up and get me okay never mind it's lazy it doesn't want to move it must be a union construction worker i guess something like that anyways <laughs> over time the cost will charge up and you can see the cost right there i mean that's super super simple and let's see you got sniper girl she does it as a little like buff or something like that they, those things really move around don't they yep Click her. I'm going to put up that shield. Let it crawl a little bit. Now, she's got like a fear AoE damage thing. It seems deadly, but it costs too much. It kind of radiates out, and you know, that one went wrong. They died. I don't get to show much of anything, do I? <laughs> Everything dies too quick. All right, well, that is essentially the basics of the combat and the overall gist of the game itself. It's... Some of the combat, uh, when I first started, I was it felt like I should be overwhelmed, but I wasn't. If that Does that make any sense? It, it feels like a, you should be overwhelmed, but it's simple enough not to be. It, oh, that boss act, the boss act, okay, let's go ahead and do the boss here real quick. There are a whole bunch of different environments and stuff too, and it's, it's, I have no idea what this does. What does it do? Oh, that's the artillery. Okay, I did nothing. I don't have that character level, so never mind. Uh, that's a little bomb. That's not going to do nothing. Okay. And you can change the speed. You can set it to auto. You do whatever. Right, let's nuke that. I think that's a grenade launcher, right? Yep, grenade launcher. Well, I took care of her. Okay, put her shield up again. They keep going. And when the boss comes up, big old warning thing's going to pop here at some point. Let's see, you got some poison. Let's throw some poison out there. That does tick damage. That, they're dead. That's not tick damage, they're just dead. What was the point of that? Or artillery? Let's include the boss over there. That big bar at the top, that's your boss health. And it's kind of extensive. Right, you're going to get Gib, you're going over there. Let's see. Oh, you just buff. You don't have the other thing going. And it's dead. I'm a little high level for this one. I went back quite a ways. Probably shouldn't know, so I got a little bit bigger of a battle. But that's the whole gist of the battle. And if you want to damage for her, wow, she did a lot of damage. 
I'm gonna have to reconfigure a little bit. Alright, skip that. And gain some uh, a little bit of EXP. Tells you how you did. Yeah, I got my three star. I know, I know. And those are the awards that I got. I got a little really rusty gear. I ain't gonna be able to use that for nothing. And that is the basic gist of the games, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments and I will address them as soon as I can. This game is fun. I enjoy this game. I decided, the, uh, at least in the very early on, I'm going to do a little bit of whaling, which I really shouldn't do. But this game is fun. It's enjoyable. The guilds are, the hype has got to be real on this one, especially with the little guild I just formed, just like being full within, what was it, a day and a half, I think? Not even. I mean, even some people were like, they jumped in a guild on accident and they were like, no, they had to leave and come back. So, uh, the game's working out pretty good. I think you will enjoy it. I hope you, uh, the guy that at least helped you guys a little bit, get around, get a little bit of information out of it. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. I stream this game. I stream a lot of Princess Connect, a little bit of Genshin Impact, and I'm looking to add more games to the mix. Whew. I got a lot to do in this game, so you know, once I'm done with the video here, I'm off to play some more Blue Archive upstairs. We'll see you again.